Number 10. A missile is fired at 100 meters per second to strike a target 500 meters away. At what angle should it be launched? Okay, let's set up the equations. We got x equals vt cos theta and y equals vt sine theta minus a half gt squared. Now, when x is 500, the velocity is 100 t cos theta. So t must be equal to dividing through that by 100, you get 5 over cos theta. Okay, so now I'll, re I'll put that t back into this here, and we'll get y is equal to v sine theta times 5 over cos theta minus 1 and a half times 10 times 5 over cos theta squared. Now remember V was 100, so it's 500 tan theta minus 5 times 125 on cos squared, which is 6 squared. Take it up the top. Now this is um, Sorry, that's going to be 5 times 25 there. So that's going to be equal to 500 tan theta minus 125 6 squared theta. Now we're going to let that equal 0, zero for when it hits the ground. So we have the equation 500 tan theta minus 125. And I'll write this 1 plus tan squared theta equals naught. Dividing throughout by 125, we're going to get here 4 tan theta minus 1 minus tan squared theta equals naught. It's re changing the signs and rearranging. We get tan squared theta minus 4 tan theta plus 1 equals naught. This is a quadratic. So tan theta is equal to minus b which is 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared 16 minus 4 all over 2 which is 2 plus or minus root 3 and when you look that up on the on your calculator you get that theta is equal to 15 or 75 degrees 2 plus root 3 being the 75 2 minus root 3 being the 15 which is going to give me a.